Make your content stand out with this Prism Photoshop effect. Easy to install and even easier to use, just a couple of simple clicks transforms good pictures into something completely brand new and even more exciting. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so first things first, this is not a sponsored video. I do not work for Creator FX, even though I wish I did. This was actually a targeted ad on my Facebook page, and I know that those can be kind of creepy sometimes, but every now and again, they just get it right. And I saw this Prism Pack advertised on my Facebook page. I did a little bit of investigating to make sure the company were solid, and they are. Then I took a chance and I uh, bought it. I think it's like $7 or something. Link in the description below if you're interested in it, and you should be interested in it. I'm gonna show you why. Let's get into it. Once you have the Prism Pack downloaded to your desktop, you're gonna double click it to open it. One of the folders has the 10 Prism Photoshop actions that we're gonna use, and the other folder has examples of what to expect from each effect. But in my experience, I think each image is kind of different, so you gotta experiment a little bit to find the right effect that works with your picture. So as I said, it's super simple to use. You're just gonna open one of the folders. I'm gonna pick Prism 3 for this first example. I think that's one that I kind of go to quite a bit. So you double click on Prism 3 and it's gonna open up that Photoshop action. And right here, you're gonna see add image here. You wanna double click that. Then we're gonna drag and drop the image that we want to add this Prism effect to. So right here, I have this picture of my friend Sarah who works for the bar that I run the social media for. So I have this picture in the session and what I'm gonna do is just stretch it out to make it fit the canvas like that. And that looks good. And then I'm gonna come up here to file and then down to save, click save. And it does its magic, but nothing's happened yet. So we gotta go up here to this first tab. And just like that, it's added this really kind of trippy kaleidoscope prism effect to this image, which I think already kind of looks cool. So the biggest reason why I'm excited about this prism pack is that it allows me to recycle or remix old content that I've shared like a year ago, if not more. So I have pictures that I haven't used since then because I don't really want to repeat content. But with these prism effects, I can add a whole new flair to these pictures and create brand new content. So if you are a social media manager or someone who creates content online, this will potentially allow you to recycle old content and make it more exciting again. But let's have a look at some of the other examples. So again, we're gonna to come to our desktop and open up the prism folder. And this time I'm randomly gonna select prism nine to see what that looks like. And just like the first time, the same steps apply. So you're gonna come down here to the layers tab, double click. Next, we wanna find the image that we wanna add this effect to. And I have this picture of bartender Kelsey pouring an old fashioned. So let's see what this one looks like. Once we've dragged and dropped our image into this Photoshop session, you head over to the file tab and down to save. And then we just let it do its thing for a second. Next, we click on this first tab and that will show us the edited image. And just like that, the prism effect has turned already decent content into something that I can now use again in the future. And it just doesn't look like I'm copying pasting content and being lazy about it. Let's try one more example for the sake of this video. I'm gonna open up our prism folder. And for this final example, we're gonna use prism number nine. Let's see what that one looks like. So over to our first layer tab, double click, find the content we wanna add. And I have this fantasy football trophy picture here, which is pretty cool. So let's see what that looks like file, save. So there you go guys, that's the Creator FX Prism Pack. I think this is just a really cool way to spice up content and allows you to remix and edit old content. Definitely worth the $7, the seven US dollars. Link in the description below if you wanna check out their website and more of their packs. I have a couple of other ones that I bought from them that I really like. If you guys would like to see a review slash tutorial on those, let me know in the comments below. Till then, I'll see you in the next one.